Well, Tracy, that's one way to get a neighborhood involved. <laughs> oh, what, what? I'm sorry, I was looking at weather. Tell me what. Oh, happened. they all had blow up Santas in their front yard that oh, were all. Oh, that's the same. a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's got getting in on the same page. I like it. <laughs> Satellite and radar, boy, got clouds coming in. Those clouds are going to be taking over the region today. Those clouds are coming in in advance of a cold front. So this cold front was going to be giving us a chance of showers, not today, but tomorrow. In the meantime, today, the only thing we're really dealing with is going to be dense fog. So dense fog this morning for the valley, then a mix of sunny clouds for the afternoon. High temperatures today are mild, 67 in Lodi, 67 in Linden, with 66 coming in down in Modesto. Similar conditions for the Sacramento Valley with 65 in Sacramento. Mid-60s coming in for Wheatland all the way into Calusa. Delton Bay areas, boy, you are socked in in the North Bay again this morning. Napa, yeah, if you're headed to Napa, you might want to wait a while. 66 coming in for Petaluma, 63 in San Rafael. That dense fog advisor in effect to 11 a.m. Of course, as the morning wears on, visibility does tend to improve. 65 in Vallejo, 66 in Concord, and 69 degrees coming in for Dublin. And here's a look at your foothills and the Sierra. 65 in Lincoln today, 63 in Forest Hill. And then I get to the high terrain, and there go the 50s with plenty of sunshine expected today in the Sierra. Enjoy the sunshine. Clouds are going to be increasing throughout the day. Here's our next weather maker. That's the frontal boundary coming in. We're going to have some rounds of rainfall light. You could see some pockets of embedded downpours associated with the yellow and the orange coming in. That's tomorrow midday. And then that frontal boundary makes its way to the foothills around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then you can see it's starting to taper off on the back side, on the western side, right? So 445 still got showers coming in for the foothills and snow showers coming in for the Sierra around 6,000 feet in elevation. Wednesday, 7 o'clock at night, what do you have for the valley? Most of that activity has come to a close, but for the foothills, you're still in the game. And then by the time you get to the overnight, most of it is all said and done before another cold front comes in. This one hits the coastline around 5 o'clock on Thursday morning, and there you go. It hits and crosses Sacramento coming in around 10 o'clock in the morning, so better chance of morning showers on on Thursday and still more snow showers coming in for the Sierra. So that's wonderful. How much rainfall are we talking about? Maybe a quarter of an inch in most locations. Uh, some of the hardest hit locations and when you start talking about snowfall, one to three inches is expected. Some of the hardest hit spots could see close to six inches. Once those cold fronts come through the region, it will leave some uh, more seasonal afternoon highs. Could see a few areas of frost for the morning, but plenty of sunshine for the afternoon. That's